So you're looking for a Rolls Royce. You're looking for extreme luxury, but the Phantom is just too ostentatious and you don't want the Cullinan SUV. What do you go for? Well, the obvious choice is the smaller, more affordable, but no less desirable Rolls Royce Ghost. The new Ghost has been revised from the ground up. Whereas the previous version was built on the same steel monocoque chassis as the BMW 7 Series, this new model, referred to as the first Goodwood Ghost, has all new aluminium underpinnings that Rolls-Royce refers to as the architecture of luxury. Sounds very pretentious, but it promises to be lighter, tighter, and it means the Ghost can't simply be accused of being a fancy BMW. They haven't gone too crazy with the design. The previous Ghost had a boxy, almost architectural look to it. But with this, they've introduced a couple of subtle curves which give it a much more contemporary, assertive look. The Pantheon grille is still very much in place, but for the first time, it's actually illuminated very subtly. They've actually got a couple of LEDs which shine on the inside, and what you get is a slightly bling effect. But they've attempted to subdue this ever so slightly by giving the Strakes a twin finish. On the inside, they have a subtle brushed finish, while on the outside, it has a polished finish, which again goes some way to reducing that bling factor. Plus, if you don't like it, you can, of course, switch it off completely. On the subject of the grille, it now has a slightly chamfered design, which is designed to deflect air over the top of the car to reduce wind noise. As for the spirit of ecstasy, well, on the previous car, the bonnet ended approximately here with a slightly unsightly shut line just there but now the bonnet comes all the way to the end of the car, meaning the Spirit now lives in a seamless, uninterrupted piece of metal. These lights are new too. They now sit further apart in order to emphasize the width of the car. The car itself is 30 millimeters wider than before. Plus it has a new LED light signature, which gives it a much more confident, assertive look. In profile, the new Ghost uses a simple three box shape with every inch of the bodywork being built from aluminium. Look closely at the roof in particular and you'll notice a complete lack of shut lines. This gives the impression it's built from one continuous piece of metal, with no visible gaps thanks to a process that requires four craftsmen to hand weld the body together simultaneously. Now that looks and sounds incredibly cool, but it does introduce a potential problem, leakage. Without any guttering, Rolls-Royce would have found it very tricky to control the flow of rainwater and the last thing you want to end up with is water inside your car. But they came up with a solution. They measured the size of rain droplets. They actually sent a team of people out there to measure how big raindrops were, around four millimeters if you're interested, and then lifted this window frame by exactly that amount, in effect creating a natural and very elegant looking guttering, allowing rainwater to flow backwards and down towards the C pillar. Another great piece of engineering that you might be familiar with are these rear hinged doors, but they've been upgraded. They're now called effortless doors. So they give you a little bit of assistance with a motor to take the strain. Works on the front too. If I pull this, the doors just help me along so I don't have to work too hard. And when you want to close the doors, just give it a little push and off it goes all by itself. Same for the fronts, just a little push and the car does all the hard work. That is probably going to put quite a lot of people out of a job. But on top of that, you also get the familiar Rolls-Royce umbrellas. Always need these in the event of bad weather. Inside, the Ghost has always been luxurious, opulent, quiet, and that hasn't changed for the new generation. Rolls-Royce still have the best rugs in the game, bar none. They are so comfortable and so deep that you'll want to ride around in bare feet all the time. Plus, the car has all the usual luxury tenets, including this amazing Starlight headliner, which now features shooting stars. Very clever. Plus, you get Wi-Fi. You have a motorized picnic table that folds down, as well as a rear seat entertainment system. All very, very cool. Plus, on top of that, you've got to have a champagne fridge, haven't you? And they do indeed have one. So this folds down to reveal a pair of champagne flutes, although only, sadly, room for one bottle of champagne. But it's a clever fridge. They consulted sommeliers who told them that there are two optimum serving temperatures for different champagne. So vintage champagne has an optimum serving temperature of around 11 degrees and non-vintage has an optimum temperature of six degrees. So you can choose whether you're cooling the good stuff 
or the cheap stuff. Rumours that this refuses to call Prosecco are unconfirmed at the moment, but um, they'll be surprised. Quietness is massively important in any Rolls Royce and the new Ghost should excel here. The windows are double glazed, the bulkhead and floors are double skinned and filled with felt to reduce road noise. In total, more than 100 kilograms of sound deadening material are used in the doors, roof, tires and inside the architecture of this car. Rolls-Royce determined that early prototypes were actually too quiet, which resulted in disorientation of its passengers. To overcome this, engineers tuned each component to a common resonant frequency. The seats now resonate in the same way as the body. The boot features ports beneath the parcel shelf to allow disruptive sound waves to escape, all of which results in a better overall harmony. A cabin that's quiet, but not too quiet. Up front, it's all recognizable as a ghost, but there are some very noticeable changes that elevate it above the previous generation. I mentioned the Starlight Headliner, now with a shooting star, but they've actually changed the dashboard to mimic that. You now have your own Starlight system here on the dashboard with 900 individual lights, plus an area that allows you to customize it yourself to choose whatever writing or motif or family emblem that you might like. The wood is new as well. On the previous car, the wood was covered in lacquer, which gave it a slightly glassy, maybe plasticky feel, but this is open pore, so when you touch it, it actually feels like genuine wood. On top of that, you have the sat-nav, which is completely uncovered. The gauges over here are completely digital, although they do look analog, thanks to this inclusion of a metal ring around each of the individual gauges. Speaking of metal, listen to this. Everything in here is real wood or real metal. You can hear the quality in that everything just feels expensive. It feels nice. It will sound expensive too. The new Ghost uses a 1300 watt amplifier controlling 18 channels, including conventional cone speakers as well as exciter speakers. These units are bonded to the surface of an object, in this case the Starlight Headliner, turning the ceiling into a giant speaker. Indeed, the body of the car itself works as a speaker. The sill size and shape have been engineered specifically to enhance audio and work as a resonance chamber, effectively transforming the car into a giant subwoofer. Let's talk about the powertrain. The new Ghost will use Rolls-Royce's twin turbocharged V12 engine, which will make 571 horsepower and 850 newton meters of torque. The Ghost will also have all-wheel drive and all-wheel steer, so it should go and corner well. 0-62 promises to take just 4.8 seconds, while top speed is limited to 155 miles an hour, meaning the Ghost should be no slouch. Big changes then, but this new car should remain faithful to everything the Ghost name stands for. Luxury, refinement and comfort in a car that's just as enjoyable for drivers as it is for those who want to ride in the back. We will of course reserve judgment until we experience it in the wild, but based on this experience, the new incarnation promises to be an exciting, evolutionary step for an iconic brand.